It's the house that love built. The Ronald McDonald House provides a home away from home for parents and their children who are being treated in area hospitals. Jennifer Putnam is the executive director with a true passion and genuine love for the house and the families it supports. We provide housing for families who are being treated in Bay State Medical Center or Shriners Hospital for Children. Uh, those are the two main hospitals that we serve, but of course we would serve any hospital that needed us and any family that needed us. Um, we have a 22 bedroom house here, so we can serve 22 families at a time. Our house is usually full with a waiting list. Right now we have 15 families who are residing here. And what we provide for them is everything that you have in your home, we have here for them. We have laundry facilities for them. We have three full kitchens. They have their own private rooms, their own private bath. They also have a playroom for the children. We have a full library. We have a family room. We have a playscape in the backyard. We provide entertainment for them. Um, both the hospitals provide transportation for them. We ask for a $10 donation a night, but if they cannot afford it, they stay here absolutely free. That's what we do. The environment is so welcoming, so warm, and truly feels like a home. We work very hard to make it feel that way. Um, for some families who come from offshore, we are their family. We are their family in every word and sense that we can be. We find them um, clothing, we find them medical care if they need it, food if they need it. Whatever they need, we make sure that we find it for them. We work with the hospitals, um, whichever hospital referred them. We work with other nonprofits in the area to make sure that our family's needs are all met. So it's, it's more than just a hotel. It's more than just a lodging facility. We're the front line for these people. Um, that's what it's all about, and that's what we provide. Most people never think about that, and thank goodness, who wants to think about having a sick child? But you know what? You don't want to have to think about where you're going to stay or how, what you're going to eat or who's going to do your laundry. Those are the last things you want to think about. And we tell our families, don't think about that. Think about getting your child well. You just come here, you relax, go to your room, rest. Take a shower, take the shuttle back. You want to do your laundry at 2 in the morning, that's fine with us. Whatever you need to do, we're going to help you do it. Families who are currently staying at the Ronald McDonald House took a moment to share their story and how the support they've received has made such a difference in their lives. It's amazing. I mean, like everybody, is, they're just so nice. It's just great to be literally two seconds from the hospital. I can go whenever I want, you know. We can come in and out as we please here, and it's awesome. Having the Ronald McDonald House here is like a home far from your own home. Uh, man, it's, it's, it's amazing, you know. We came here and then everybody treats you like, like your family. It's awesome to have this kind of experience with these people, you know, so it's good. Coming up in less than two weeks, a spooktacular fundraiser to support the house. We have our Thriller Gala this year, and the whole theme was based on the fear of the number 13, because we're 2013, and it is really going to be a thriller, Ashley. We have a Michael Jackson impersonator. His name is Joby Rogers, and he is endorsed by Michael Jackson and the Jackson family. He's the real deal. It's going to be at the Log Cabin, and it's Saturday, February 9th. It starts at 6 p.m. You do have to purchase your tickets ahead of time. Tickets are $100 a person. We are going to have some zombies and ghouls walking around, so don't be nervous. Jennifer considers herself extremely fortunate to have the job she does, and the families are so fortunate to have her, too. That's amazing. <laughs> it chokes me up because it's probably the best job I ever had in my life. Um, it's, it is so rewarding to go home at the end of the day and know that you've helped all these people who otherwise would not have anywhere to go. Um, that's amazing to me. The people I meet are amazing. The kids, they're so brave and, and they're just so determined to get well. Um, really, they recuperate here. They, they come here with their families. You know, we're a little different from regular Ronald McDonald houses because we have kids here, and the kids are the patients. Most Ronald McDonald houses, it's the parents and the siblings, but here we also have the patients. So we get to see these kids as they grow up. We, you just spoke to one of our guests, John. John's been coming since he's two years old. 
He's like my, my own son. I've seen him grow up. Now he's 18 years old, he's a man. It's, it's so amazing, you know, we hear these families are coming back, we get excited. It's like seeing a family member. It's wonderful to be able to say, I love to come to work every day. It's always different, it's always exciting. Um, we just finished our renovation project in our kitchen. You know, we're always working to make it better, striving for excellence. Let's do what more can we do? You know, it's never enough. You know, we have a great team here between our staff and our board of directors, and we have at least 100 volunteers, probably more. And we just couldn't do it without all, all this community joining together to make this happen. You can do your part to support the Ronald McDonald House and enjoy a fun, thrilling night out by attending their Thriller Gala on Saturday, February 9th. To get your ticket, call 413-794-LOVE or visit them online at ronmcdhouse.com.